radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation, of other people. Just watch yourself. Considering the radioactive environment, I assume the probability of finding people here is close to zero. It might well indicate something quite the opposite. Human technology equals radiation, after all. I found a way to the convoy. What might interest you, sir, is that it appears to be a mechanically drilled tunnel. Circular, precise. I'm more curious about what's on the other end. Although curious might not be quite the right word. Oh no, Astrogator, they're dead. So you found someone. After seeing their face, I had a feeling it might end like this. Still I wonder, what were they looking for? Was it that they killed? Just what the hell? Another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. the antimat. It looks damaged, but its log may still be intact. Copy that. Proceed. Okay. okay. I'm getting into the antimat's recorder. Cornlet 
targets match the location of the base we've searched. All of the Alliance's semi-autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Yes. In that case, they were conducting an inspection before marching out. The antimatter's in an escort mode. The convoy is heading somewhere. I was there! It's the location with the giant cranes. Right before they lifted that strange artifact above ground level. to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for. That ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. <sighs> Shame. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Something's going on. One man is trying to draw me into tension with the others. I have no idea what's beyond the frame. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. The photo is such poor quality. Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. Huh. That's a recurring factor, which explains nothing, really. We're going in circles instead of getting you off this planet. Is there anything actually helpful in those photos? Don't you want to know what happened, sir? I do. If my crew was safe and sound, I'd gladly investigate it myself. Explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge, but also bring us honor and glory. Not to mention the exposure of the Alliance's incompetence. At the moment, though, I have other priorities, Doctor. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from... Are we still considering whether we should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asna. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind, not for our link. Now we keep it together, sir. Antimat has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming for? They're ceasing to protect the convoy. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reach its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Astrocator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do.
it's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Major Sleep doesn't spare you. I need such destructive power. This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. Well, the Alliance will do anything to feel invincible. Hence their flagships. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. Yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. It's... uh, nothing. I just ran out of slides. It didn't sound like, oh fuck, end of slides. I know you, Yasna. You're watching your tongue. Not so thoroughly as of late, but still. The slides are finished. With me on the last one. What? You tell me the machine that massacred those people is still operational. Ready to rise and obliterate you from the face of this planet. Doctor, am I correct? Astrogator, please calm down. If it was going to do something, it would have done so by now. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. Rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Oh my god, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's in Arctan. Coming at me. Carrying something. Ah. I got out. Well, to inside the cave. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah. Oh. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. Now. All right, then. Can you tell me what's in there? 
Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. the ones before. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are but below, fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Like bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah. That's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasta? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use a detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Mm, interesting. 
To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. But perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... ...ruin the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule us out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, then. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. <laughs> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. Disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. Well, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. A series of successful missions. Are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimat? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. 
Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. Now you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first antimap told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Oh, it's cooled down. Just one. It's worth checking then. <sighs> That's where I came from. Where now? Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. On the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Uh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. 
we have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day base. This is Bosa. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflective light. As my colleague Austin has mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Edgar, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Why? What happened? Scout came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I'd figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies.
I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. I know I'm in a hurry, but I should check this place first. Bushes already protrude from the holes. Huh. I don't get it. Those bushes again. And here I thought it was all coming together. We figured out that bushes can consume metal to build their own tissue. Maybe that's what's happened here. Bushes ate the metal shell. Where did they come from in the first place? I admit, it's quite puzzling. Bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. It's too awkward to squeeze in. And the whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. broken containers no sign of the flight just plenty of bushes you have some theory sir everything that comes to my mind seems absurd you go ahead sir as I see it no idea is too absurd right now I haven't quite thought it through not yet Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession. Do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest fawns and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different, and dead. Necroevolution. Mortius evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source and so on and so forth and i can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being i've ever heard of with all the skepticism that comes with it the second transporter is under a force field it's hovering above the ground 
So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Well, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. This registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. scared of you too uh, i'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary i won't be able to bring the probe down unless i find a working controller inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Is the probe still with you? Yes, it's around here. Somewhere.
Just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Everyone here is dead. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. Climbing onto the hot room transporter. Before you leave them, please check that the cargo is intact. this really help our people, Master Gator? It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yes, sir. What are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Yeah, we'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first, I like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Must admit. Does that look amazing? Yes, sir. What have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? So, God damn that thing was open at the strength before. Can you say not to worry? Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself.
Same thing over and over again. No wonder we finally ran out of luck. Too much of this damn curiosity. Who needs to know what might kill us? We're getting killed anyway. My people. Antimatic hammers. Taurus. What wiped out? I, I don't know if I should interrupt your uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I'll ask you how many times already. The fourth time, if I counter correctly, but I'm not planning another. <laughs> the first four weren't planned either. At least we learnt the truth about this planet and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure, I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or oh, you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's the latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe that won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people. Alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they're nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. I know what I saw. Two people alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them? Yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least... Yes? I'm alive. You know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It, it's true, I, I hurt myself badly back then, damaged the radio. 
But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy? Yes. 